Hello, I'm Lou Steiner, publisher of Atlantic City Weekly. We're here today at Sweat AC at Harris Atlantic City. Now here's Jillian Michaels. I can see those legs moving! Stop bringing tissues! How about beautiful? Bring tissues! Yeah! Yeah! I love what Sweat AC is, I love what it stands for. Um, and it's really just bringing a bunch of people together to experience different fitness modalities, whether you're an instructor and you're here to connect with an audience, um, or you're somebody who's looking to be motivated, or you're an athlete who's looking to be challenged. It has something for everyone, and I think that's great, and I really enjoyed watching it expand. Um, you know, I get to do a limited amount of events, some are talks and some are workouts and uh, for me to be able to have very selective events that are done well where I can touch as many people as possible uh, that's always ideal and, and sweat AC has continued to be that thus far. That period in my life where I was the overweight kid, the bullied kid, I wouldn't trade it because it's made me who I am today. You know it's given me my drive, it's given me um, my empathy, it's given me my passion for what I do. And for that, I'm grateful. You know, if I was this perfect kid, I wonder if I would ever know what it would feel like to be, you know, bullied or cast out or alone. And it's the way that I relate to people. So for that, I look at it with gratitude. Um, but it doesn't damage my self-worth or my self-esteem because I look at my transformation as a massive accomplishment. So you need to shift your perspective. The weight that you lose is a testament to how strong you are, the things that you've overcome. Everybody in life is going to have failures, setbacks, issues, coping mechanisms. Weight, physical weight, is one that people can see and that's, that's what's so hard about it because if you're spending too much money or you're drinking a little too much or you're having affairs, nobody knows that per se. They don't know how you're coping privately. But when you're overweight, then everybody can judge you, even though you're doing the same thing everybody else does, but your vice is a different one. You know, here's the thing with Biggest Loser. <laughs> it's, it's really a challenging job, but the, the part that always makes it worth it or why I tend to go back for more is the contestants um, and that's what I'm hoping that the audience always takes away is watching them triumph over adversity overcome their obstacles bear their heart and soul and make that 180 turn um, with regard to not just their physical transformation, but their state of mind, you know, emotionally, psychologically, their confidence level, and so on, uh, is really rewarding. That remains the same on the show. Give me that hand time. Use your hand.